Hello. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, wait, no. No, that is working. Hello. Oh, it's because of which... Okay. Goddamn audio issues. <laughs> We've been playing with the options to see if... Uh... Splitting headphones via auxiliary and USB at the same time is possible. I'm sure it's possible, but we're not having a good time of it. Yeah. Also, That's... hi, I'm Black Cat, and this is Han. Hello! We're having a fun special stream today. Where we're gonna do some weird shit. By weird shit, we mean... Yeah. Never been done Twitch before. I see 14. Hello. We're still trying to sh troubleshoot this. <laughs> there is a possibility that some damage was done <laughs> on the regular headphones trying to get the other headphones working. No. No, everything's fine. Oh, good. Uh, everything is fine. Not like just... physically, but like, like you need to uh, re-default some. I made things more complicated, probably. I mean, it wasn't just you. <laughs> Don't take all the credit. Yeah. Don't lick me. Not. Yeah. But you're so salty. Ew. <laughs> but you've never licked someone because they were salty before? Because they were salty? No. Eat yourself. Okay, so today we are going to be playing some... Uh... A variety of different co-op games. I have not told Han what we are playing. Nope. I have seen the title, and that's about it. Hi, Ron. Hi, Ron. Okay. Gonna have to pause the music. Because there's going to be some loud music for a second. While I figure this out. Did that not get added? Uh, there was music. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's going to get a little loud in a second. Hold on. I'm supposed to win three, that's the way. Oh, now, now it got really fucking quiet. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Wait. Oh, is it because I... Oh, I tabbed away and now nothing... Okay, now, no, no, it's good. It's good. We're good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Wait, that's not A. What's A? I don't know how to control her. <laughs> that's me. Oh, there we go. You should be able to hear music very quietly right now. But not me, because I can't hear it. But what I can hear... Pink. So, I guess that's all I need. It will be very confusing <laughs> with that vocal cue. I, I am going to give you the headphones because I'm familiar with this game. Oh, okay. I would love that, thank you. <laughs> we can always switch back once I know what they are. 
No, no, we're good. Okay, do y'all hear the cute game sound? Hopefully y'all also Oh. Oh. Nope. Oh. Okay, so that's looking good. Just need put you not here because you're not actually supposed to be here. Oh my gosh. You're supposed to be here. Paste. And now we have our overlay all the way over there. <laughs> and we have the deal. Video game. The video game. The video games. The video game. That doesn't sound right. That sounds much worse. Uh, you're cutting off black. And go left a little. Not anymore. Okay. Oh. Yeah. And that should be active. Okay. Cool. Cool. I'm gonna double check my lines. Tracks. Okay, good. Touching buttons, but nothing is happening. That is normal. Don't have the game. Um, oh, yeah, that would do it. <laughs> oh, I have this set to warning spook, not spook. Okay. <laughs> it's spoopy how bad of video games I am. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Wait, this game is force set to everyone as the audience. I want to set it to mature because I'm mature. Well, no, I mean, I'm not mature and that's the problem. <laughs> Your commentary is quite... Risque. Not for everyone. Yep. I mean... Yeah, thank you, C14. Or C no C four one eight technically C C four that's what I was trying to say. Um, game roulette. Wait. Sweet. Wait. Wait. What does that mean? C four one. Wait. Oh. <laughs> oh you. So, Han has never played this game before. Do I have full save files or anything that? Oh, no, this is a new save file. Wait, I think. Okay, so. Welcome to the world of Overcooked. We are going to play a little bit of a few different games. And when we tire of it, or Han is like, I hate this so much, why are you torturing me? <laughs> um, then we'll play we ten more minutes of it. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Oh no! <laughs> and then we'll swap games. But how will I know I hate it if I haven't overplayed it by ten minutes? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know possibly how. See, I might loop back around to liking it again afterwards. Uh, one second, and we will act. I am just setting up. Nothing on. Uh, uh. So many uh, games. Uh. Yeah. Uh, that one already installed. Okay. We are going to force you to let you 
aktiv. Yay! Okay. So, now we can actually play Overcooked. Some things have been prepared. Yes. I'm excited? Ooh. Yes, the, the streamer's dilemma. You have to somehow look around the mic. <laughs> you may- oh. We and Kevin can keep these fiends from entering the castle for now. Wait, yeah. did I start? What if the unbred spread out from the castle grounds? I fear for the Onion Kingdom. We must act quickly. Woof. Wait, why am I the dog? Mark. But of course, the Royal Sage Coach. She's just been upgraded. It's a mini you want to take it or I'll be the dog again? Yeah. That seems more appropriate. It seems that once again it's up to you chefs to save our kingdom. Oh, so take my wheels, hit the road, and learn some new recipes. And for the love of onions, learn to cooperate better. Woof. 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 Wait, no. You couldn't feed the dog? No, you can't talk to Kevin. Um, technically, I think we were supposed to do something different first, but, uh, because we were uh, supposed to do- no, Freddy! No, go, go, go to the angry bread! What the? Up. Up. Uh, you hit A. Oh. Did it turn off? Oh Doesn't no! need to be charged. Don't tell me that's the problem! Yeah, you have a charging cable for that. Yeah. I'll just keep it plugged in. It's fine. Assuming that that fixes it. It will. Because I say so. Okay. Oh, that was me. There are two paused. Okay, so you're supposed to go up to the Angry Bread now. Yep. Not 1-1. One, one. Yeah, no, you were supposed to play the tutorial first. And this game oh, has- I assumed you were going to make me skip the tutorial because it would be funnier. The following is based on actual events. Only bread, vegetables, and something else have been changed. <laughs> Just after tea time. Oh, we were supposed to see this first. Oh. At last. <laughs> How long I've waited for this moment. The trials we've been through to win this noble prize. Look at it, Kevin. Look! The fabled Necronomicon! <laughs> Is that a picture of someone punching a potato? <laughs> What do you mean it's dangerous? Don't be silly. This book holds the secret to everlasting culinary greatness. In a large bowl, dissolve the sugar in warm water and then stir in yeast. Allow to proof until yeast resembles a rich, creamy foam. Mix in salt and oil, then mix in flour. Knead the dough and cover with a damp cloth. Honestly, worried I'm gonna bark too loud. <laughs> <laughs> Me a little bit too. And allow two eyes. It's the unbred. Rise, rise, ah ha ha ha! No, no, this is not what we're supposed to happen. It can't be. It's the unbred. <laughs> they're, so... they're very cute, and they're all moldy because they're they're old. There's a baguette in the back. There's oh. a baguette in the back. I'm sure it feels very special. As my best chefs, or conveniently the ones that are here, I will put you on this task. They seem so hungry. Set to it. Okay. So now we will learn how to play. So you are the gruff old man, and I'm the pirate. Grab a lettuce from over there. Yes. If you a lettuce. 
Now take it to the chopping board, put it down, and cut it. Nope, that's the wrong. Put it on a plate. Oh. Okay. We'll go out now. Any more plates? Yeah. Okay, so if you see in the top left hand corner there is the uh what the rest what the order is. So ah. I need uh that from you, yes. I'm just okay. gonna make a lot of things available to you. Ow. Wait, did that hurt? I can't tell. I don't think it hurt you. It hit me, though. Which is basically the same, right? Sure, let's go with that. Okay, so we need... Uh... Well, I need a uh, ch chop... Ch chop... Clock? What? I need chopped cucumber. Sorry, I have penis on the brain. Um, I need chopped cucumber. When is it not? Here we go. Oh, you wanted me to put that on the plate, didn't you? Maybe. Huh, see, that would be smart and reasonable. Okay, so that goes out, and then I grab one of these, and that goes out, and then we have the plate return, which I grab there, and I that and grab that plate get another of those and I need I need a tomato net plate okay well you get the plates and I'll just be cutting things and putting them here for you it's getting hard to see what's going on Eh. Okay, got that. Okay, got that. And I need a pure lettuce. There you go. Yep, that. And then I need a lettuce and a tomato. You need anything but tomato coming up. Yeah, Not I gonna have a good you, time. I need to give you a lettuce. Yay! We did a thing! We, like... <laughs> the horde is too ravenous. <laughs> no, don't be a hero, Kevin. Quick, back to the castle. Retreat! <laughs> Romy was barking at you now. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You may be my best chefs, but you have much to learn if you conquer that appetite. Me and Kevin's can keep those fiends at bay for now. But if the unbred spread out from the castle grounds, I fear for the onion kingdom. We must act quickly. <laughs> Why, of course. The royal stagecoach. She's just been upgraded. Okay, this was what we were supposed to say. Okay, so yeah. I'll just go. Yeah. So for the love of <laughs> audience, get better at com communicating. Cooperating. That's the word. I knew it had come in it. Or com, like C O M. And yet. Wait, no, it doesn't have that, because it's C O. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make sashimi. So. Nice. We need to cut up fish and shrimp. So shrimp is on the right side, and fish is on the left. Oh, okay, I see them. Oh, uh, how do I X? There we go. This is so awkward, because I'm trying to, like, see around the mic. And that's gonna be an interesting challenge. It will. I know how to cut things. Good, because so, we need that. I am going to do that. Uh, we need those to go out, though. How many of them? Uh, sure. Okay, now it's just fish. 
have a plate. Oh, I didn't pick up a plate. Oh, it doesn't respawn right away. No, they come back after a little while as if, like, your the customers are finished with them. Oh, oh, God damn it. How do I make this work? Okay, there we go. So we need a uh, fish. Yeah. Yep, that's fine. We don't have to do them exactly the order that you're seeing up there. Just as long as it's in the list. Yeah. Okay, so we have like blasted through everything that we need to actually do. Like we're doing extremely I mean, well. One, it's the first level, and two, there is two of us. This game is meant for two people. Man. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. No, no, yeah. There's no benefit to having more people. Well, okay, there is benefit to having more people if you can organize them. But if you're not good at organizing, then there is not benefit. It is a it is a bad fit. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna cut for now. Feel free to do plating. Just gonna fish. Go hard. Oh. Okay, I can talk apparently. Did not realize. Need to play these. Then... Oh. Yes. <laughs> Dang. Okay, so we got eight hundred oh. four of three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is the first level, but we are doing pretty good still. Yay! We got very good tips. You see that? Yeah. They're like, oh yeah, we're totally gonna tip you. I mean, we didn't. It wasn't even just the tip either. I mean, if you're a waitress, all you get is just the tip. So, that hurts we have to... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it hurts other parts of me if I don't... Anyways. Um... <laughs> okay, so we are going to be assembling sushi. So we need to put... No. The, uh, the seaweed goes directly onto the plates, and we cut up the fish, and we boil the rice. Okay. I did get the boiling part right. Yes. Sort of. Okay, so the first thing we need is we need salmon sushi. I will come over there and I will grab some stuff. So as soon as the rice is done, uh, it has a chance, it, like it starts flickering because it has a chance to burn. Oh, uh, okay. Nope, that is, that is just a pot of rice. Uh, okay. Uh, can well, you get the other one? Oh. Okay, that one's gonna burn. Okay, I am just going to deal with fish for a second. Okay, I can do the rice. Okay. Also, we have people in the kitchen. That's normal. Get out of my way, you fucking terrible creature. Okay. The chef says to their customers. <laughs> oh, that's where the plates are from. Yeah, okay. that's the plate. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. you're good. I'm in the way. You're never in my way. You only bring joy. No pain. Not yet. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, we're good. Nothing's wrong. Uh, everything's fine. Why would there be anything wrong? Right. Sorry. Honestly, you just dealing with the rice is pretty good. Uh, oh, okay. I'm struggling a little bit. 
Oh. Did you see that? No, you probably didn't. I did not. That's okay. Oh my gosh, it's burning. Sorry, not the rice. Our our score is burning. What happened? That's because we're doing so well. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. What no. am I holding? I'm holding uh, a plate. You're holding an empty plate. That's fine. Okay. Oh, and there's a plate right here. Okay. For rice. Okay. Ah, that's, that's not done! No! Oh, no! <laughs> 1124 of 420. We almost tripled the score. Yeah. We did very good. I'm sure Onion King is very proud of us. Yeah. And Woofster. <laughs> that's Kevin. I love Kevin. Kevin is the true hero. I'm just gonna start us. Yeah, you yeah, know. I, I I was expecting you to drive. Okay, so now plates have to be washed. Oh no. I can wash plates to some extent. Oh no, I'm okay. on the rice corner. Wait, it's okay. I, I can be on the rice corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, but I need the rice from your side. Nope, that's fine. I can transport the rice. Press X to throw. Yep, thank you. You threw it into my hands. Okay. That one. That one. No, you need that on your side. You are the one who plates things. Oh, I put all the plates in the middle. No, but I mean, like, you put the other stuff on the plates. Oh. Yeah. I honestly wasn't sure which side of it it was going to end up on, so... I want... Wait, why can't I put this in the rice? Oh. I need yeah, to plate, like, basics. Oh, we need... We need, um, cucumber. That's what's going on. Oh. Okay, so I'm the cucumber -y person. Well, I'm confused. Ow. I'm giving you cucumber because I need cucumber. Okay. You need a cut. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna wash the plate. Uh, cucumber. Yeah. Okay. Where does that one need? Nothing. That one is done. I need you to send it out. Ow. What? I accidentally sent something. <laughs> Not sure what. Who's a cucumber? Here, have some more rice. Mostly because I'm confused. Okay, you just need some cucumber. Yeah, how needs just cucumber, and then you can send it. Wait, what? You, it you're... didn't combine. No, you're putting in the wrong spot. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put the plates back because they're the dirty plate returns here. So. Yes. Yeah, so we need two more shrimps now. Or set up to be. Yeah. Okay. Oh Send that gosh. I see the timer. It's not okay. like me. Okay, send that out. Uh, I need more cucumber, I think. I don't think we're gonna get the chance to do my. Shoot, that's the wrong yeah. one. How do I take things off? Oh, uh, you can't. You have to throw it out. Okay. Or in this case, since we're out of time, um, just put the just, cucumber onto. The... Just start panicking. No, no, don't start panicking. <laughs> okay, we need a seaweed on here. Put a seaweed on here, and bring it over. Oh. <laughs> womp womp. We only got two stars. Restart? Yep. I'm like, got it. Start panicking. <laughs> Great. Okay. Perfect. I'm gonna go over there, and I'm gonna try to cook less rice, I think. And I'm gonna send the rice over for myself first. Oh. I definitely did not understand what was happening. 
I mean, I can do this side instead if you want. Alright. Oh, no, oh, wrong thing. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, I put on the wrong... Damn it. Oh, this rice wet bed didn't hit. But yeah, it... How do I get rid of it? Uh, just go up to the trash and... Okay, that is the trash. That goes out. And then... Do another... Oh, sorry. Nope, you're good. I'm just transporting some goods. Cucumber. So the sooner we get it out, if you see the bars at the top, um, that is basically how how much money we are going to get for doing the thing. Sweet. We get less money the longer we take. Okay. Plates that need washing. Okay, I will yes. go focus on that. Oh, interesting. So it doesn't matter how many plates you're watching. Oh, yes, it does. I'm gonna keep watching this. How do I watch you? Uh, I need the uh, rice more. Okay. I'm gonna come over and quickly. Just enough to get one plate. We'll send out a sashimi ahead of time. That rice goes on there directly. Yep. Yeah. Oh. And then so does this one. Not close. And okay, okay, we're doing better than last time. Hey, need more plates. Grab that one. Gonna need more rice. Uh, the rice is done. I'm threatening to overflow. Got it. Okay, don't put that no, on a plate. I, I cannot plate it. That needs to go out. I see it. Okay, and then this also go out. And then I'm gonna get you a plate for just that. Oh, I... Nope. Nope, we're done. Oh, okay. Four seconds. Hi, you. We did it! Yeah. We got 30% more than uh, what was required, so we did good. Yay! It, it takes some time to like adjust to what you're doing, I find. That's fair. In a second, and you'll be able to control things again. Hidden levels are unlocked by completing secret criteria in another level. I wonder what the secret criteria that we succeeded in was. What do you think the secret criteria was? The secret criteria is that we didn't suck. Whoever switches to raise ramps otherwise inaccessible area like uh, it, it's not meant to be a puzzle it's like actually quite simple so either we can go to the kevin level or we can go to the other level kevin levels are harder than other levels i guess we're going that way can you go to the other side i just wanted to hit things to be honest okay you get pontoons when you're in the water Okay, I've touched all Not my face. That's what you said. <gasps> Kevin! So, Kevin levels are dramatically harder than the rest of the game. So do we just only want to do this, then? Oh, uh, wait. What? <laughs> okay. Okay, so... No, we're so not ready. Um, 
Okay, so how do we do this? Okay, so we need to chop up fish, and you the have fish... pork loins to chop. Yeah, the fish needs to be put in the the cooker. You need to steam it with flour. I'm guessing the flour is yours then. Yeah. They like to put the ingredients on the opposite side of where they need to be. Okay, so I need you to cook stuff. Oh, I need to cook stuff? Yeah, so put the, um, put the fish in. Oh, no, but I need to steam it with flour. To make it steamed. Otherwise, uh, just... No, not the fish, just, just the meat. Oh. Uh, I shouldn't have sent oh, the meat no. over to you, that was wrong. He's plating. Okay. Uh, that's a double fish. That's not gonna get us any. Nope. Okay, Ooh. but this one is done. Okay, so this, th this, uh, this bamboo thing needs to get cooked. You throw me the other meat back. But I did that wrong. Uh, yeah. I was supposed to be there. Cool, thank you. Uh, so this needs to go in there. Nope, that needs to go on a plate. Also, it needs to be stirred, I think. No, the flour needs to have been stirred. Yep. Yeah. No. Used. Okay. There we go. You and you. Are okay, this like needs to go out. This right there needs to go out. I can't send things out. Okay. I need more flour. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I hear ya. I hear ya. Okay, yeah, grab stuff out of the bowl with that. Grab stuff out of the bowl. Yeah, you need to put the uh, the the flour and meat into the uh, whatever they're called, the steamers. The steamers. Okay. No, 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 not raw stuff. The stuff that's already been mixed. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the, this fish here needs to go out, and this needs to go in another steamer. have access to all the plates. Uh, oh, I don't have access no. to plates. <laughs> well. Uh, also, I can only yeah. wash plates. But only you can grab the dirty plates for me. Got it. Okay, that makes tons of sound. No, I don't when it speeds up. It makes me scared. Okay, so this goes out. Okay, got it. And I'm gonna have something to go out in a second. This one. That goes out. Yep. Okay. Okay, that goes that goes on. <laughs> oh, I don't have the, the bowl. Oh, you still have my bowl. <laughs> okay, so we did not get even one. We failed two orders because we didn't get them in time. Yep. Well, it's okay. Do we want to try again, or do we want to do something else? I'll try again. Okay. One one more time. Okay, so first things first, I need you to throw, like, a... Tons like, and tons of... Like, eight flour, that's it. And okay. we're not going to use any more than that. Okay. Nope. Up the fish. 
that needs to get cooked. It needs to get something plated. Oh, dang it. Nope, that needs to get cooked as well. It does need to get cooked. Yep. Okay. This needs to get cooked. And this needs to get plated. No, no, no. Awesome. Thank you. That needs to be cooked. We're doing way better this time. Yep. Uh, not even a comparison. Okay. That's plated. Yep. Okay. You pick up. Out. And now I pick you up. And then... Yep. This fish also needs to go out. Yep. And then I need to get you. It's... Yeah. And do this. Plating. Okay, I got two things I need of plating right now. Okay. Plated. Uh, no more flour. So that goes out. Okay, uh, grab uh, grab this in the middle with that thick. Nope, that's nope. not ready. The first. Okay, this fish needs to go out. You've back. given me enough, that's okay. gets plated as soon as it comes out. It's here. Yep. And then okay. pick you up and put you back on. It's okay. Brush that out. Put it on this plate here. Dump that and go. Good. Okay, that was just shy of three stars. Ooh! Okay. Yeah. Oh, that was much better. That was way better. <laughs> I think I'm pretty damn confident we could get three stars, but I'm going to say let's keep going on trying more of this for now. Okay. Yeah, just learning, like, what we need for each recipe takes, like, half the game for me. I mean, yeah, it's, it's all new stuff. Okay, so this is sushi time now. Oh, okay. It beats a dash. Oh, That's dashes cool. are so cool. Okay. Yeah, you can Naruto run. Okay, so the floor is move will move us automatically to start with. Okay. Second, those fires in the middle will just spit fire out randomly. Okay. Well, I guess. Not really sure. I'm honestly do not. I mean, it's not good because like you can't move through that area. It's happened. I mean, I'm just gonna throw a bunch of those. Three. Put these plates. 
One, two. I need more cuts. Cut three. fish. Nope. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, you said more cuts of fish. Yeah, cut more cut fish and more cut. Oops, oh, sorry. Alright. Oh. At that point. Oh, no, we can't both oh. walk the same direction. Dang, that's annoying. I know. Rice one. Two, three, one, two, one. One, two fish. That three, is how we count. Three, that is how we do it today. Oh, I'm getting in your way. No, oh, I'm getting in your way. I'm getting in your way. I'm getting in your way. Okay, but this race needs to be safe. It's gonna be so loud on the capture. Actually, oh, no, 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 it's not. No, it's not because uh, I have a comp what? I have a compensator. Oh, I had something in my hands. I didn't even know it. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Yeah, I am cooking okay. the plates. I'm so confused right now. Uh, we need plates, so I'm giving you a plate there. Okay. And I'm grabbing another plate. You can have fish on you. Oh, sorry. Nope, you're fine. And you can have nori on you. Nope. I meant to have both fish and nori, but Just that's okay. Just make sure not to ignore it. That was terrible. <laughs> uh, the, uh, you mispronounced fantastic. So glad. Oh no! How did I leave with that pot without noticing? Stop stealing my pot! You're stealing all my pot always. Oh. You're such a pot fiend. You know it, girl! Oh my god. Not that. Okay. I need a. Oops. You missed one. Okay! What did I miss one of? We. This um, cucumber thing. How did I get fish in my inventory? Your inventory? Oh god, I don't think. <laughs> no, I don't even know where the plates are. Oh, they're down here. Oh boy. Yeah, we're we're done. Yeah. Okay, four twenty-six. <laughs> Wow, okay, oh. that was three stars. It's th This is the difference between a Kevin level, which is 480 for the first star, and this one's 400 for the third star. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. But we do love Kevin. How are you liking this game so far? I think good. it's fun. Oh, there's a switch to click. Right there. There is a first overcooked game, there is this overcooked game, and there is another overcooked game. And they all are equally good, and they all have tons of content. Okay. Pasta. Boil pasta, add chopped tomato, meat, mushrooms, or fish, and prawns. Uh, you have to cook the meat, though, too, also. Yeah. So we're in a hot air balloon, because that, that's not... Eh, we're not gonna need the fire extinguisher, are we? Oh god, how do I put it down? We're gonna need the fire extinguisher. Okay. Or when the fire starts spreading, that oh. is not from you. Uh, okay, I can't, I can't reach any of that. Okay, cool. Thank you. Whoa. Okay. Where's the meat? Where is the meat? I thought there was meat. I... There is meat. I don't know where, but it has to exist. Yeah, where the... What? I don't see meat. Used, but we don't need me right now. Okay. okay, well, I have two pastas. Okay, I oh, guess I'm up here for now. This meat? No. No, I guess, I guess we just need that right now. It's pasta. Oh, we need plates first. 
Wait, where, where are the plates? Oh, they're all here because they're not cooked. Okay, so these need, meals need to go out. Oh, the tomato needs to be cut and soft? Yeah. Got it. I'll put them out. Okay, I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash plate. Okay. Right. There we are. Okay. Yeah, plate. Any plate. Oh no. How late did you walk off with the plate? You added a pan. I filled the plate. Oh. Wait, where do the pans go then? Uh, they they can go on the, uh, sorry, I threw that in your hand. They can go on to the, uh, same spot as where the pots go. You can, they're interchangeable. Oh, okay. The pasta needs to be in the pets, though. Oh, that's useful. Okay. You need to fill that up. It is, it is really useful. Not stuff before we feed it. Well... I know, I'm, I'm butt face. I really do. <laughs> yeah, but I love the butt face that you are. I love your horrendously stinky face. That's not. Okay. No! We need more ingredients! No, we need to send out the food that's here. Oh. That's done. Okay. Yeah, I'll get that out. Where oh, are the plates all went? Uh, the plates are dirty. I'm just cooking them. Oh, okay. I knew they were dirty, I just didn't know where they were. Okay. Where did, did you put the plate? I already took the stuff out and oh. put it out. Okay. Cool. Plate. Thing. Plate. Plate for your thing. Plate. You need the plate. Oh, you need, plate. You you need, need to actually plate. be on the burner. That's why you were on the burner. That makes sense. More tomats. Any more tomats? Oh, what? No, not that. Oh, fuck. Okay. Dishes need watching again. Ah. No, not that. Just some throwing things around. Okay, need more pasta. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we got 500. Yay! Oh, 500 of 260. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and I was worried I'd be bad at this game. Am no. I still bad at this? No, you're doing good. Okay. Yay! For whatever reason, your brain just meshes with this game. It looks like. What do I say? For whatever reason, your your brain your brain meshes with it. You don't seem to do well under stress, but for some reason, this this seems to work with you. For whatever reason. Uh, I over prepare. That's why. My brain is like, this will need preparing, and this will need preparing, and this will need preparing. Watch out for the fire. This fire me made my fire. No. Well, no. no. You're just like throwing, throwing things everywhere. Yep. Don't worry, but we are. Don't be alarmed. We are in a thunderstorm. Ah, that's fine. Any more that little uh, lid? Any more lid? Any more lettuce? Okay. Well, I'm not next to lettuce, so I can cut. Though. 
that sounds like a reasonable thing. I was gonna say the personal failing, but that just sounds too cool to say that. <laughs> no, because you're not, you're not a personal failing. You're a personal success. You need, we need more valid cut. Please send a cut towards me. Oh, I can't reach it anymore. Whoa, okay. Helping! Everything's fine. Everything no, is okay. actually, things are not fine. Goodbye. Good news. Not Whoa! Kidding. Actually, now we're doing sushi. So we need to start cutting up. So you don't need to start cooking rice now. Where the hell what? is the there? Okay. It's on the conveyor belt. Yeah. Okay. I will okay. try and get it to you. So we need to finish the last few orders from Valid World. Oh, oh no! The fish is at the top now. Yeah, that's okay. If if it go if it gets run out, that's fine. We'll just we can get more. Is the plate walk? Yeah. Okay. Or go oh, out. Okay, we are now on just. Oh, okay. oh that's on the cutting board. Holding something right now? Yes, you're holding it. You're like, why are my arms so full of fish? No, I... I see only Nori, like, right here. And it's messing yeah. with my head. Yeah, that's fair. I need chopped cucumber for this. That needs chopped cucumber. Oh, that's where the rice is? Okay. I'll throw it up there. Uh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. We need to oh, we need to put we need to put the. Whatever. We need a cucumber. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Six fifty one. Oh, dang. Yeah, brought this. Yeah, my brain is very much, here are the things that we will need. Uh, balance it out and you figure out how it works. Oh no. Need to return home. It's time to go talk to the king. Oh. We have learned something. We've learned things? I feel, I feel still stupid. Well... Feelings aren't facts. Oh, whatever, Incel. Well, well, my word, what an adventure you've been. And you've only just begin. begun. You still have much to learn about cooperation, and we can only keep the unbred at bay for so long. Head out into the wild country. I hear there are flavors there that can satiate the most ravenous appetites. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't hurry me. But he's right. You must go now, and bring back more delicious teamwork. <laughs> There's no time to lose. Can we talk to him? Oh, you can talk to him. You want to talk to him? <gasps> no, you can't talk. You, you can, can pet. pet him? Oh my gosh! I didn't know that was a feature. Here you go. Okay, I'm to pet him. This is more important than what else we're doing. It's true. Okay. Well, we'll have okay. to be back from our cuddles. Do you want to keep playing on this, or do you want to try the next game? I am good with whatever you want. Hmm. We can always come back to this. Let's, let's come back to this, just so we can try out a few different 
seconds. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so we are going to go on a three minute break while we set things up and then we will be back with y'all. BRB.
Hello, and we're back. Okay. So, for this... Uh, okay, hold on. Okay, so, you, Han, are gonna wear this. Yep. And we are going to swap seats. Oh, okay. And I see that we will be playing her the perfect date. Yes. I cannot. Wrong first? Perfect date. Perfect. Thank yes. you. Okay. So, I have not played this game before. <gasps> You are going to be dating cats. That sounds fantastic. Okay. New game. Okay, so hopefully the volume is correct. Who do we want everything? Um I mean I usually will choose something fem. You just wanna do cat? Sure, we can be a cat dating cats. That makes sense. <laughs> okay. Not turn off the game while it's saving. I'm an angel and I... <laughs> I wonder what happens if you type I'm a devil and I reject. I mean, we can just click it and find out. Is it gonna shut that turn off the game? Oh. Cat devil? Oh, the cat devil is beautiful. <laughs> oh gosh! Look at those boobs. Well, 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 what do we have here? It looks like a human. It smells like a human. I'm sure it tastes like a human, and yet it calls itself a devil. How is that even possible? Oh, I love that expression. All the universe above and below the earth know that I am the devil. The one and only. The original and everlasting, you sniveling, lying, trembling creature, allow me to school you in the ways of hell. You call yourself Cat, and yet you and I both know that that is a lie. You are my minion, Black Cat. You are in my domain now, and there is only one voice to listen to, and one authority to be obeyed, and one will to serve. What? Hold on. There is only one voice to listen to, one authority to be obeyed, one will to serve. Oh, one will to serve. Okay. Yes. I am the master of everything. But, Black Cat, I am a sporting devil too. It would be so easy to crush you into eternal damnation right here, right now. But where's the fun in that? So this is what I'll do. You have a chance, a slim one, at redemption. Answer the following question correctly, and you may escape my clutches for now. So, there are... <laughs> of course, okay. Okay. Do you? Oh, you say it. Up yours, horn dog. <laughs> ah. I can't force laughing too long. <laughs> oh gosh. Wait a minute, do we get to romance him instead of any of the cats? Wait, half measures availed us nothing. Don't deal Dang. with the devil achievement. Wait, what did that just say? Ah. I think what you just said. Oh. Uh, do you want to be the narrator? Sure. I'm not sure how long we've been sailing, but it feels like forever. Oh, hold on one second. <laughs> okay, that should be better. Okay, so you'll need to like lean towards the mic a bit more for when you're doing your narrative. I'm not sure how long we've been sailing, but it feels like forever. 
I'm not feeling too well now, so it's a huge relief to hear the deck lag shout. I didn't approach. Make yourself ready. He's from Numbery Party. I'm finally here. When I applied last month, I was just another broke student living off of baked beans and didn't really think I had a chance of being accepted to be part of the prestigious Cat Island research team. I want to be part of that. Mood. Yet here it is. The little black dot in the distance growing bigger by the second is the infamous Cat Island, the place I will call a home for the next few months. My heart momentarily skips a beat. What if there's been a mistake? What if they accepted someone else's application and accidentally sent the offer to me? I ramage about in my bag until I find the papers. Do you want to do this one? Sure. DP, DPRI, DP Corporation. Dear Cat, we are pleased to be able to offer you the position of research assistant to press Professor Paul at our research facility on Cat Island. This position will be for an initial period of eight weeks. Your contract will be sent separately. We look forward to working with you. Yours sincerely, Professor Pop for PhD, BS, BSc, Hans Dig. I don't know what that means. No, no mistake. That's my name. Right there in the top left hand corner. Cat. And there's his name at the bottom. The genius behind this whole operation. Professor Popper. Science genius and my new boss. I can't wait to get that far for penis. I mean, what? <laughs> I look up from my papers to see dry land rapidly approaching before us. It seems to be surrounded by a huge barrier of impenetrable black rocks. As we get closer, we're not slowing down, and I begin to worry that we're going to crash into them. Then, at the very last moment, we take a sharp turn to the left, and suddenly we're sailing smoothly towards a jetty through an opening in the rocks. I blow out the breath that I've been holding and break into a smile. Lastly, <laughs> 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 done, Skipper. The ferryman comes out from behind the steering wheel, ignoring my attempts at camaraderie and shouts rather brusquely. We got Bob here for ya. Take all your belongings. We won't be back for days, so don't leave nothing you'll need. Oh, I was expecting that since to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> don't be leaving nothing you'll need. Thank ya. I don't know what accents I'm giving them. I'm just like Me neither. fucking just throwing whatever at the wall. I smile weakly at the ferryman and his son and pick up my bags, ready to disembark. We glide seamlessly up to the wooden jetty and the sun leaps ashore to tie us off. He's greeted by a bulky man in a uniform who I take to be a security officer of some kind. And we are updating for the new game. Okay, you go. So, bulky man, security officer. Joe. Sir, caught you a mouse. And then he laughs loudly, as though he said the funniest thing he's ever heard. It's very disconcerting. The security guard remains surly and turns his attention to me. Let's be having you then. He holds out his large hand, which I assume is an offer to help me off the boat. But as I reach out to take it, he snatches it away, throwing me off balance so that I almost fall over the side. Douche. What a great start. I the guard. Oh, uh, I see. Of course. 
I reach into my back pocket and hand over the laminated card I was given on the mainland. How stupid of you. You are expecting basic human decency. Why? How could you? At Island Security. Hey, we have the same birthday as Santa Claus. <laughs> I know none of that makes sense. Also, it's there's supposed to be four numbers for the year there, but there's only two, which doesn't make sense. And I know that's not important, but it annoys me. <laughs> that's fair. Oh, it meows. It does? Yeah, it just gives a little meow. I wish I had set this up so I could hear too. <laughs> That's fine, okay. I can switch off. Okay. He barely looks at it before striding off, grunting over his shoulder. This way. I follow him down a dirt track path and get my first proper view of the island. It's beautiful, lush and green. I'm already under its spell. After no more than a couple of minutes trekking, we're in base camp, which consists of an assortment of tents and huts. Among them are two more solid looking structures, one larger and one smaller. I presume these are the labs. The whole camp is moderate, but functional. It reminds me of an army outpost. It does look very Spartan. <laughs> I'm struck by the lack of people. In fact, there's no one around apart from an older woman sitting outside peeling a pile of potatoes. I smile and give her a little nod, but she just stares back at me. Does no one here have any social skills? Doesn't look like it. I try not to get paranoid. There. He's stopping at the largest of the tents, indicating that I should go inside. I feel rude just walking in, but I make my presence known first. <clears throat> Hello? A firm but friendly voice calls out. Um. That it? <laughs> I think so. I walk in and there he is. Hunched over some documents. The great Professor Popper. Sir, it's an honor to meet you. Yes, yes. You must be Cat. Come on in, my dear. Glad to have you on board. Good journey? Well... Long? Yes, indeed. We're rather tucked away here. Let me offer you some refreshments. Water, coffee, something stronger, perhaps. Whiskey. I mean, we've already gone for the devil option. We might as well for, uh... <laughs> you to let you drink whiskey on your own. <laughs> sure. Well, if you're having one, it would be rude to let you drink whiskey on your own. Jolly good. I can tell you and I are just going to get along famously. He takes a swig from the bottle and passes it to me. I try not to show my self-consciousness and surreptitiously wipe the neck with my sleeve before taking a modest sip. It will take you a while to find your way around and discover how it all works, so for today, I thought I would just get you kitted out, catted out maybe, and maybe introduce you to some of the locals, the cats that is. I believe you've already met most of the human locals. Yep. It was a little unimpressive. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, I've only met the ferryman. And the security guard who brought me here. And the woman who stared at us awkwardly. Yes, that's about it. And the lady outside? Ah, Ms. Marigold. Her and her husband are the caretaker. Wonderful couple, the Marigolds. You'll meet them before too long. We're a tidy little family here, Cat. I'm sure you'll fit in nicely, despite the fact that everyone hates everyone else. <laughs> well, I mean... Not necessarily, but like, I don't know. No one seems to be particularly friendly or like family-like. Yeah. 
I mean, they might just be xenophobic because yeah. once you've been around cat people, like... Why would you want to be around humans? Right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. I hope so. Okay, so first things first. This is your basic kit. He begins going through a pile of things on his desk, explaining each of them in turn. This is your backpack. You can put everything in it, as you would expect from a backpack. We will be going on plenty of field trips, so this will be very useful. As will your own water bottle. It's going to be full of whiskey, isn't it? <laughs> Some disinfectant hand spray. Ah, uh, these are heavy-duty reinforced gloves, which are essential for tagging cats out in the wild. Tagging? Oh. Hmm. Don't want any scratches from felines we don't know now, do we? <laughs> I suppose not. It's becoming, like... We are becoming slowly more southern. <laughs> it's true. I don't know why. I, whatever it works. Uh, I shove each item into my new backpack as he gives them to me. Likewise, these goggles are to be brought along on all field trips. This lot here... He indicates to a small pile of what looks like laundry. Is basic uniform, lab coats, masks, stethoscope, etc, etc. Portable first aid kit, camping knife with all the tool attachments. Finally, and without a doubt, most importantly... Catnip. A catnip. Oh my gosh, we get a cat Pokedex. Oh my god. This! A kitty Dex. What's a Dex? <laughs> <laughs> he holds up something that looks a lot like a mobile phone, except it clearly isn't one. It, this is your catalog! <laughs> <laughs> this is your catalog! Uh. Catalog? Yes, the name comes from its earliest version, when it was just a book. It was initially designed to record and store data on the cats, scan them and log their details. But as you can see, we've come a long way since then. We just hit them with a book. <laughs> I definitely just see somebody uh, storing by just like scribbling, just aggressive scribbling in the notebook. Oh my gosh, like, like, you, like, press it against the cat's face and you, then you charcoal them. <laughs> <laughs> to, like, like, get a rubbing of their face as the cat's like, what the fuck? Oh, that's perfect. Now you can use it to communicate with the rest of our team. I've added everyone's contact details for you. Listen to music, take photos. There's even a pen that comes with it to insert microchips into the back of the cat's necks so that we can keep track of them. Uh, I thought these cats were going to be, like, kind of humanoid. This feels... Ethically... scandalous. I, I mean, okay. If... Are they cats, or are they... Hum the are sentient they humanoids with cat-like features? Yeah, if they're anthropomorphic, then it's one thing, then it makes sense to date them. If these are just, like, literal cats, then maybe you shouldn't fuck the cat. <laughs> maybe. It is a very valuable piece of equipment, Cat, and I need you to protect it above all else. Do you understand? He is looking me directly in the eye and clearly expects a response. He didn't need that in. Yes, sir. Of course. I'll look after it. Good. You'll get to know all the functions as you go along, but for now I suggest we take a shh. <laughs> I was so so ready to say take a shit. I don't know why. <laughs> you get to know all the functions as you go along, but for now I suggest we take a stroll and see if we can find a few friends to introduce you to so you can try it out. He hands me the gadget. I feel a bit nervous taking charge of it, but also really keen to have a go. We head down to the beach, the professor explaining things as we go. 
The mixture of terrain on Cat Island is quite unique. Even in such a relatively small area, you'll find forests, mountains, jungles, beaches, woodland. All of these different geological and ecological zones in one place. It really is most remarkable. Can I live there? Do you wanna do you wanna move over there with me? If there's internet. <laughs> <laughs> It certainly is. I'm not a camping person. Fair. Even the lack of wildlife is, in itself, quite remarkable. Okay, aren't so the all cats... the cats wildlife? So the cats aren't wildlife? I'm getting, like, mixed signals. Mm -hmm. Also, I thought he was going to be a cat, and I'm severely disappointed by him. I know, right? What do you mean, Professor? Well... Put simply, there is a type of fort field that surrounds the island, disallowing anything to enter. What? Then how did we get here? I mean... You, you, you mean literally anything? Absolutely. No birds, fish, or creatures of any kind can penetrate it except for you and your exceptionally large... body. Go on. So, uh, what do they eat? Oh, that's a good question. I assume they ship Cause... stuff in, but like, cause they're they're carnivores, right? They're not they're not omnivores. Yeah, no, yeah, you're right. What do the cats eat? And what I assume we get shipped in, but like, what? Okay. Forgive my lack of intelligence on this subject, but uh, we're here. The professor lets out a disconcerting loud laugh. Ah, I see what you mean. Well, there is, of course, one small break in this invisible wall, and that is where we build the jetty. And fish have never swum into it. Yeah, because that makes sense. But let's not get too bogged down in this all right now. Suspension of disbelief and all. What do you need to... What, what you do need to know is that, basically... What you do need to know is that, basically, the island is shaped like a peanut. Okay, yeah, no, apparently that's the, that's critical information. Yep, very important. Critical, invisible, wall peanut island cats. He has picked up a nearby stick and draws a simple map in the sand. And by map, we mean he just, he just draws drew a peanut. peanut. <laughs> <laughs> or gourd, depending on your looking at it. Mm -hmm. This, our end of the island, is very well known to us. We've been researching here for many years. We haven't decided to walk to the other side for some reason. <laughs> the other end is not so familiar to us. We've had in we have we have encountered difficulties that have hindered our progress in the region. Oh. Oh God. What type of difficulties, Professor? Is this a horror game? <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. Well, we're not sure as to... Well, we're not sure as we'd like to be what I can... We're not sure... We're not... Oh my god. We're not as sure as we'd like well, to be. Well, we're not as sure as we'd like to be. But what I can tell you is that the environment has an adverse effect upon humans, inducing nausea at the very least. Which is why you felt that right now, but you haven't? And at the worst, death. <laughs> That's in farting. <laughs> Fainting, migraines, and possible nerve damage, which is why I invited you here, as I would like to see its effects on a human as they slowly suffer to death. Gosh, that is serious. As I say, it's best to keep away. Let's not go into all that now, my dear. Wait, so was that just the other side of the island? Not this side? Not this side. You've had a long day. But now, let's just say that we refer to the far end of the island as... The danger zone! <laughs> With good reason. Yeah? I must ask you not to put yourself at risk by venturing beyond this mountain. All that pussy is mine. You are not allowed to venture... I mean, what? <laughs> he refers to the map once more, 
drawing a line just past the center and an X through the end section. He has X'd the peanut. Mm-hmm. There are wild, aggressive cats out there. I wouldn't want you getting too close to them. Are they cannibals? <laughs> what else? What else could they eat? The cats. I, I, I mean, there's no birds or fish. Yeah. Do they, do they eat humans? Unlike our lovely fellows closer to home. He has led me to a stop. The. He has led me to a spot where a few cats are lounging about. What do we say we try out your catalog now, cat? Your catalog. Wow, that was perfect. <laughs> we did not plan that. Uh. He stoops down and picks up one of the animals, a disgruntled-looking cat who is sleeping under the shade of a palm tree. Oh, okay. That is a large cat. Yes. The cat lets out a displeased, but doesn't struggle. Its large body, billowing with long orange fur, just sort of hangs in the professor's arms in lazy resignation. I'd like to have a go at scanning this delightful chap. I find the on switch and somewhat timidly activate it. The gadget immediately comes to artificial life, emitting a sound with a red pulsating light. Oh, the game did it better. I select the app labeled Cat Scan and it loads instantly. There's no delay on this thing. Yeah, if there's something that actually has sound, just tell me so I can pop, like, narrating. Oh, yeah, yeah. The professor holds the cat towards me with arms outstretched. I'm sure he said the scanning chip is implanted into the back of the neck somewhere. It's difficult to find this one's neck amidst the thick cloud of fur. I blow to make a parting and press the cat a log to his skin. A bit like scanning groceries in the supermarket where I used to work. Angry grocery. That should do it. And he plops the marmalade tom back into the shade. Is that the technical name for that cat? I think... I don't think so. That just is his name I is think... Marmalade Tom. All I can think is like dark apricot marmalade. Sure enough, upon withdrawal, I find the cat has been successfully scanned. Meow. <laughs> His name is Fluffy Butt! Yes, yes it is. I'm so delighted. <laughs> Fluffy Butt. Name. Fluffy Butt. Gender. Male. Age. 10 years. 4 months. Breed. Red Tabby. Persian. Eye color. Red. Red? That definitely looks black. Amazing! Clever, isn't it? A large part of our job here will be to tag and scan the cat, such as Mr. Fluffy Butt there. <laughs> but it looks like you'll have no problem at all in that area. Excellent work, cat! Followed basic instructions! <laughs> Thank you, sir. I can't wait to get started. I'll make sure that you get your raise to $12 an hour. He's like an absolute fucking slave driver. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't we get you a bit more practice with the catalog and scan the rest of them while we're here? These five spend a lot of time together. They're like a little fa family, aren't you? Yes, aren't you? Professor seems to be a cat. How do you in Jen you love her? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's totally right. <laughs> like me. I think we're going to get on great. Okay, here goes. No help this time. The professor steps back. I feel like I gave you the lion shares of the, vo the vocal reading accidentally. 
I think I'm confused. I think I like. I think I gave you more of of the characters than I meant to, because you have you have the, the main character and, and the narrator. The, yeah. The first cat I approach is very friendly with beautiful calico markings. It comes towards me, already purring. Trixie, meow. Trixie, name. Trixie, female. Age. Three years, eight months. Breed, Calico American Short Hair. Eye color, orange, orange with a slight black, then a gray <laughs> with a black. Also, that's green, apparently. I think this one is a closed eyelid. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Next is an elegant, sleek, hairless cat sitting gracefully in the sun. She doesn't pay me much attention and allows me to scan her with minimal fuss. Yeah. <laughs> There's snooty booty. booty. Uh. Snooty booty. Name, snooty booty. Gender, female. Age, 11 years, 1 month. Breed. Sphinx. Sphinx. <laughs> eye color. Blue slash black slash closed eye. What was the gender of the last one? I think they're all female. No, the first one, I think, wasn't. Oh. I I have, like, no recollection, <laughs> apparently. You're good. The fourth cat I approach is a noisy one. Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, Murphy. <laughs> it's not Murphy. See? It's Mech Murphy. Gender, male, age, six years, breed, brown, crossbreed, eye color, green. And finally, the one I've derived. You want to take over more lines? <laughs> I'm sorry I, to trip up. I, I can try to do, like, I'll, I'll take the narrator for now. Okay. And finally, the one I've deliberately put off until last. He's been skulking around the edges of the activity, eyeing me suspiciously, as though he could pounce at any moment. We're just gonna pause for a second, because for some reason, one of my creatures is very angry, and I don't know why. <laughs> one, one moment. Here, you must entertain the masses. And by oh, masses, no. I mean one person. Hello, one person. I am... I, I think this actually explains a lot about the way he talks about cats. Because if there's cat people, which is on the other side of the island, but he's just talking about cats, then that makes a lot of sense. Because then you can, you know, go over there to romance them, and he has not interacted with them that much because he gets... he starts swooning. Although maybe he has seen them and that's why he's wounding to begin with. Hmm. That's quite a quite a quite a challenge. I mean, you can kind of see the cats all over that that tree behind him, which is pretty fun. Okay, well, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with the extra time, so I'm going to spin in a chair, because spinning in a chair is fun. I have said hello to the manager. He seems unimpressed. <laughs> <laughs> I 
like there are little specks of like I don't know little bugs flying around I think it's nice oh can see the mouse We'll do a cat. Uh, we'll do a cat count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, I found 16 cats in okay. this picture. Wait, what? There's the three by the tree, then two here, debatably. And then we got three little ones right there. And an answer one there, and there, and there, and there. Kitties! Yeah. Welcome back. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't know why Romeo is so upset today. I don't I don't know. I brought him up to pee, so. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's me. Yeah, I, I think I think he's just excited because he's not used to having people in the house besides me. I'm usually just like I'm the one. So when I'm in here just like doing my thing, he's like, "Okay, mommy's mommy's busy. I sleep now." But he hears the two of us talking, and he's like, "Mommy's not busy. Mommy's socializing. Must talk to mommy. Mommy's talking." Must enjoy, must join the conversation. Anyways. I believe you were taking the narrator at this point. Mm -hmm. I laugh at myself. Already projecting personalities onto these animals. Oh, kibbles. Gender, male. Age, three years. Breed, white British long hair. Eye color, also green. They, is the artist's favorite color green? I get the feeling that the cat elog has a different, like, art quality thing. Like, maybe a different artist? Oh, that's that's definitely true. Um, I was just, what I was thinking more of is just, like, it says green for every cat, it feels like. Done. Oh, fair. All done. I hope you enjoyed meeting some of the locals. These cats do not seem fuckable. <laughs> they seem like just normal house cats, and that's not... Yeah, I was discussing that while you were gone. Chances are the cool cat hybrids. Is that an offensive term? Anyways. I don't, I don't think so, because they're the... not real. <laughs> it's hard to defend something that doesn't that exist. anamorphic cats. Anthropomorphic? Anthropomorphic cats. I think are on the other side of the island. And I was like, yeah, but he swoons before he gets there. And then I'm like, you know, maybe he spoons he swoons the instant he sees one. And then he's like, oh, I must have hallucinated that. Well, time to go back. So here's what I'm thinking. The cats that we just met are the cats that are on the box art for this game. Ah! So I think these are actually the cats that we're supposed to run. These specific cats we've just met. Oh. And what I'm thinking maybe is that, like the devil that we just had, that something's gonna change, and they're gonna, like, I don't know, we're gonna get, like, turned into a cat or something, or, like, we're gonna be able to hear them suddenly, or, um, everyone's gonna turn into cats, like... It definitely I has something to do with the sketchy side of the island, though. Yeah, there's, there's something, something is it. Maybe if you go... Maybe the reason why people get nauseous and, like, their brains get fucky when they go over there is because their body's being transformed into a cat. Oh, that would be cool. The professor lets out a little laugh. I have a feeling you get to know them quite well in time. That's probably enough for your first day, don't you think? It's quite a lot to take in. I'm suddenly exhausted. I'm grateful to be heading back to camp. Well, there was two cats behind him. Ah, oh, that's your tally. It's 16. Oh, yes. 
It's quite late by the time I've unpacked and settled myself, but I want to write my journal entry before I sleep. I'm surprised at how chilly it is. I've pulled my sleeping bag right up to my chin, but I still feel goose pimples. Pimples? Okay, I've heard goose bumps, never goose pimples. But I still feel goose pimples bloom all over my arms. Shivering, I rub them to warm myself. Do you think the cat in the back over here is a real cat that's made its way in, or if we just have a plushie? There's a good chance that we just have a plushie because we love cats. Also, is that an Among Us figure over there? <laughs> Kinda, like, it, it looks it, like off-brand Among Us. It does vibe a bit, but there's a scarf. Yeah. It makes me smile to think that this inherent reaction to the cold is what will be keeping my new feline friends warm. What? Having goosebumps keeps them warm? Maybe I don't understand cats. Despite what? being cat-like, I don't have any cats, and I've never had cats. I do have cats, and I'm still confused. But also, yeah. I think I would need to read the sentence. I wonder if there's, like... I close my eyes. The world around me drifts away as I float into a dream. Oh. Are we gonna meet them in the dream, maybe? I'm not sure how long I've been asleep, but I wake with a violent jolt that leaves me sitting bolt upright. It's too dark to see anything, but I hear a rustling, and then a strange electronic noise. One that, in my sleepy confusion, I can't place right away. Boop, boop, boop. The catalog. Acting on instinct, I scramble to my feet and follow the noise out of the tent. I look around me, and my fears are confirmed when I catch sight of a pulsing red light, getting fainter in the direction of the forest. Wait, did our catalog get stolen? I think so. I snap into action, running as fast as I can. Barefoot, dressed in my pajamas, running at full speed into the forest in the dark of the night. Best idea ever. Yeah. I must be crazy. Well, at least they're aware. <laughs> the words of Professor Popper are ringing in my ears. We need you to protect it above all else. If you let the government spies find it, they might use it against us. My legs are trembling beneath me. I stop feeling my I stop feeling my heart beat heavy throughout my body. I wheeze in and out, my breath billowing in front of me in white puffs. Ooh, there's a lot of cat imagery. Yeah. It's it's Mount Catmore. I shouldn't feel like this. Why am I so dizzy? I try to get my bearings and realize I've blundered perilously close to the danger zone. Danger zone! Oh my gosh. I can just make out the shapes of some large animals in front of me before my eyes close and I drop to my knees. Uh. They're angry. I open my eyes. Calico cat I, I scanned yesterday is sitting in front of me. She drops the catalog at my feet. Are they going to be able to communicate with us now? Uh, did, were you able to read that? Because I read Don't Kill It. Oh, I didn't. I pass out. I have no idea what it said, but that's that's what my brain thought. Well, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can pause the caption. You can pause the, um... I was right! You can pause the video and look at that. Um, now, time for Floofy Butt. I guess... Oh, I guess it wouldn't make sense if you... If you spoke the cats, because if you spoke the cats, then you'd be talking to yourself. Hmm. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, are you feeling okay? <laughs> <laughs> What a goofy kitty. What is it? I'm not going to remember all these voices. Don't be ridiculous, kid. Look at the human. 
Oh, yuck. I can smell it now. It smells like a human. Oh, would you be quiet? Are they alive? Oh. Okay. I'm trying to actually remember the voice. Of course it's alive! It, oh, God. <laughs> do you want me to take some? Uh, yeah. Which ones do you like the most? I like the snooty one. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you can keep the snooty one. Okay, I'll Which ones do you want to give me? We'll start there. Um, I feel like I will never want to date this one, like the, the second from the right, if I give it the voice of Goofy. So maybe I could <laughs> give you like the two on the right and I will do the three on the left. Okay. Uh, I don't remember that one's name, but it reminds me of Simba because of the coloring. Oh, okay. So... This is Flippy Bunch. Okay. It says imbecile, so it's a little bit... Imbecile. Of course it's alive. It's breathing, you imbecile. Why isn't it moving? That's mine. Would you come on and give them some space? Move back a bit. Yes, yeah, stand back. Move out of my way. Let's make a proper looking. I begin to come to. The Sphinx cat is standing over me as I open my eyes. We stare at each other for a moment while I try to take in what's happening. Is this one defective? Ugh. I feel sick. I'm gonna puke. Cats watch me intently. Am I going insane? Ouch. My head. I love that you held your head wood. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like like when you're playing a racing game. You gotta lean with the controller. <laughs> what is it chattering about? They're scared and confused. Let me talk to them. Um, human? Are you alright? You! I remember! You took my catalog! Oh, but I gave it back to you. It's back in your pocket, meow. So cute. I try to reach into my pocket and realize my hands are scratched to shreds. Oh no! <laughs> Ow, 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 ow! What's wrong with my hand? I tried to stand. Ow, ow, ow! My... my feet. What's happened to me? I ca I'm calling it now, you've turned into a cat. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh! Oh! Yeah, um, I guess that's from all the climbing. You turned into your we're aware cat now. Uh, I hope so. I told you it wasn't ready for that. What's that? Ready for what? Its atomical structure is far too delicate. I tried to slow it down. Yeah, Floof. You try restraining a human that's... Yeah, Floof. You try restraining a human who's that determined. It was like a bar... It was like a bar gay. Its anatomical structure didn't seem that delicate to me. I was like a what? Doing what? You made your own way back to the beach. Okay. Well, that doesn't explain. I show my bleeding hands. I don't remember the voice. <laughs> Kara? Ah, you crawled, Kara. Is that... What? What language is that? 
Kara? Uh, who's Kara? That's not my name. It's a term of endearment. Oh, he's Irish! Okay, well that- that- oh, his name's Mick Murphy, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, at least that gives you a pretty good, like, suggestion of what, like, uh, his voice. If I know what an Irish accent sounds like. Um... It, it's... I totally don't. This is gonna be rubbish. <laughs> it's um, an Irish thing. Not someone from Southern. <laughs> it's inappropriate. Wait. I crawled? You sure did. Sure. No. <laughs> like a cat? Yep. All the way from the mountains? Like a bleeding mountain lion. Impressive. Just give him a southern accent. I can't do it! It hurts! <laughs> but... Why? Because you got the sickness. Got Shh. the sickness? Dude. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Down with the sickness. It's like slowly, like, sharing the headphones back and forth, because I did not figure out how to split the headphones. The music's pretty consistent. I'll have to figure that out further. Um, maybe you should sit down, human. We need to have a talk. Possibly a long talk. This is, this is the cats and the trees talk. Talk? Yes, that's right. Since when can cats talk? Oh, fuck. Goodness sake, since the dawn of time, how else do you think we can communicate? Ah, uh, stop splitting whiskers, Major. Wisdom's Major. You know full well what the human is saying. I think the revelation here, Kara, is that you can understand us. Yes, that too. Will someone please explain what the hell is going on here? Well, we don't fully understand everything ourselves. At least not the details of how this works. A thin being stood in a forest surrounded by a bunch of talking cats is about as much detail as anybody would want. I agree. More to the point, we were rather hoping you would... You would be able to help us. You are the scientist, after all. What we do know is that the clock has started ticking for you. Oh, great. What? Has the accent gotten worse? No, just... That sounds like we're gonna die. Oh. <laughs> I'm more worried about our death. Oh. Not that's, your accent. That's fair. What do you mean? This is like Dead Rising. We have 72 hours to the military air bombs this island. Oh no. No. <laughs> well, there's no easy way to say this to ya, Kara. You'll be catified. I'll be... what? Whether you help or not, you don't have a lot of time before. Just you can just kiss him, if I may. It would seem, uh, and we're basing this on our experiences to date, that when a human manages to find themselves in what I believe you call the danger zone, <laughs> they are vulnerable in ways that they previously were not. That is to say, you're screwed. You're not helping. Don't make me. Well, Matt and Lion, there'll be no violence of any kind. Forgive me for being a bit panicked here. The vulnerability to which Snooty Booty was referring is, simply put, if you are bitten or scratched by an elder cat within the danger zone, you will begin a process of change that will ultimately result 
in a full feline transition. I'm having way too fun with that one. You're cool. <laughs> Thank you. So, basically, you're telling me I'm a werecat? I look down, and in amongst the scratches on my right hand are two distinct remarks. The reality of my situation descends upon me like gold dust. I'm a vampire. <laughs> Basically. Yes. Except for not the vampire part. <laughs> my head is spinning. This is too much for me to take in before my coffee. <laughs> take a breath now, Kara. You're not looking so good. Have I started to change? Feel my head for ears. Burr. Everything seems normal. No. I just met you looking a bit shaky. Understandably so. Oh. I take a few deep steady breaths and calm myself enough to say... Um, okay, so, why, how, what? Give me some data. What have you got so far? Look, we'll answer everything that we can, but the truth is we have more questions than answers ourselves. So, yes, see, you said you need my help. What exactly would that entail? Well, finding our friends would be a start. The cats on this island, they're going missing. We don't know what's happening to them, but the body count is rising with the wall. A wall of ignorance, maybe. Really, how many times do I have to tell you? The Mueller's are to blame. Oh my gosh, is this like the... Um, Mueller's. Capulets and the Romeos. <laughs> now, Floopy Bun. There is no need for name. Speaking of name calling, I'll remind you to call me Major. Adam. Who's the map? I've, I don't remember their name. Beauty Booty. Okay. Look, they can't help the way they are. It's a lack of breeding, you know. Overbreeding, if you ask me. Again! Mulas? They're the Elder Cats, the island originals. They can't speak the way we can, hence their derogatory term. Despite the fact that earlier we just said that all cats have been able to speak since the dawn of time, except for these cats for some reason. And how are they to blame, exactly? Wait a minute, hold on a second. If, if they're the original cats, that means all of these people were human. Yeah, I thought about that. Well, we don't have proof that that's the case. Like, this one could have been a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, you know, I, I don't have a counter to that. <laughs> That that could be a turtle cat. <laughs> it's just like a fish. The, every fish that sw swims in becomes a cat. Honestly, if they all get scratched and bitten by the elder cats, which if they're hungry, right? Well, if I knew that, there would be no need for this elaborate kidnapping. It's hardly proving to be a roaring success after all. Look, Kara, are we really know that we are no longer safe on this island? The elders who live within the danger zone are hostile toward us. Not sure why, just always been that way. And now because cats are being taken, nowhere else is safe. You expect the occasional mishap? We live in an undis 
domesticate a world here after all. But lately, cats have been disappearing almost every day. So, this is less of a dating game and more of like a, a sci fi murder mystery with cats? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Even the last human we catify went missing. Wait, they can catify people? But I thought they weren't elders. Maybe they. Okay. Um. Who's this one's name? The, the one that's Oh, I don't know. Okay. Well, Calico. But when they talk like this, for um, I did uh, drag her catalog over to the elders so the elders would scratch her so that they could speak. So I assume that their codification is they like lure the human over to the elders and the elders uh, scratch them. I'm sorry. What? Let's not open all wounds, Kibble. Yes, onwards and upwards. Towards our next expendable target. Well, first things first. This werecat thing. Catification! Transition! Whatever! How does it work? Time passes, you transform into a cat. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's a gradual process. It's different for everyone, but you won't just turn overnight. The clock is ticking now. The side effects of the transition is it's being able to understand us. Well, some of us. Not the elders, obviously. Not all the domestic. Then you have the whole heightened senses thing. The increased agility, the crazy body hair stuff. Your pubes are gonna be insane. Let's not worry. A human with all the details. Just yet. I assume there's an antidote? I'm afraid you're gonna be disappointed in that assumption. Hang on. You said there was someone else who you'd put in this position. Well, let's hope you're a better bet than they were. Unfortunately, they weren't able to discover an antidote or get our friends back. I know where their notes are. Really? Right. Huh? You help us, and I'll give you their progress report. Help the kitties! So what do you say, Kara? Will you help us? Of course. Not much of a choice, really, is it? Afraid not. Okay, fine. So... Where do I start? Is there anything you can tell me that'll help me track down your missing friends? Will no one listen to sense? Touch with the Mueller's, and I'll eat my hat if it doesn't end there too. Mind him. Don't mind him, he's set in his ways. We have every reason to believe the abductions take place in your part of the island. Yes, nowhere near the danger zone or the elders. Well, that doesn't make much sense. But I suppose nothing does around this place. How about that older lady? The... the Marigold? Yeah. Person? One of the owners of the island. Caretakers. Oh, caretakers. Yeah, it's, it's odd that they wouldn't have transformed yet after all this time. Mm hmm That, yeah, that's kind of weird. And the professor's still a human. I wonder, like, if there's something sinister going on where they're, like, capturing cats and, like, sending them away. I suspect the quiet people. Yeah. My catalog starts beeping. Oh, my alarm. I have to get to work. 
You go to a first aid station for. Run along now. We don't want you arousing any suspicions with your. You can meet with us later. I'll make sure those reports are in your tent for this evening. Thanks, Kara. You're one in a million. Well, two in a million after we killed the last guy. <laughs> I imagine the odds are far greater that given your new health status. So, in thanks from all of us. After a painful journey, I am very grateful to finally limp into camp. I have just enough time to get myself tied up for work, and I'm about to peel off my filthy PJs when I hear my catalog beeping. I have a message, but I can't tell who it's from. Not from any of the contacts that Professor Popper programmed into it. In fact, there's no contact, uh, contact information at all. Sure, just wise to trust. Are you sure it is wise to trust anyone? Anyone? What on earth does that mean? Who is this? There is a lot you don't know. Carefully about who you provide in. Before I can think of a reply, the messages are gone. My catalog has no record. What the fuck? I mean, if the person that made the catalog yeah. has access to it. I don't have any time to think about this right now. I need to get ready. As soon as I'm presentable, I head over to the lab. I'm ten minutes late. It doesn't give a good impression on my first thing. Oh, he has cats and those. Oh, cat. Good to see you. I was beginning to worry. Did you oversleep on your first day? I'm terribly sorry, sir. I think the traveling and all the excitement of yesterday. I take the punctuality very seriously. He, co he cuts across my apology. Not to worry, it's perfectly understandable. You'll find I'm quite relaxed about most things. As long as you get the work done, I don't mind what hours you can. Thank you, sir. So, shall we get started? My goodness, what on earth happened to you? Oh, he, he's looking at the scratches all over my hands. Oh, I uh, fell and tried to save myself by grabbing onto a bush. I'm afraid I led you astray last night. Not everyone can take a double mark. How's the head this morning? It's easier to play along. A little bit fuzzy, but it won't affect my work, sir. I really ought to drink spirits on an empty thing. Ought not to. Oughtn't? Oughtn't? Oughtn't. I really oughtn't drink spirits on an empty stomach. That does actually sound good with other spirits. We ought to get those hands sorted out, though. They look pretty nasty to goes to the tall metal cabinet in the corner and takes out a bottle and some cotton wool. He begins cleaning and tending to my hands when he... Today I would like to, you to help me with a few tasks around the lab to get the hang of things, but from tomorrow, I'll let you make your own choices about how best to carve up your time. Of course, we are primarily here to carry out your job as my research assistant. However, try to make the most of your time on the island. Once your work is completed, we'll be saying goodbye. This really is a once in a lifetime opportunity, so don't waste it all in the lab. Naturally, I need your help around here, but I'd also like you to get your hands dirty with some field work. Make sure you spend time exploring the island. It's a beautiful place, and there's a lot to see. Take the time to get to know the cats, a full understanding of their behavior. Oof, it's marvelous. There's plenty to see in there. However, you must be careful not to Take regular rest and relax. We don't want you to burn yourself out. I'll try to get the balance right. That's the spirit? Well, there you are. 
He's done a first class job on my wood. They aren't bothering me nearly as much. I spend the rest of the day with the professor getting to know how the various pieces of equipment in the lab work, finding out where everything is, and learning some basic forming routine. At the end of the day, I'm exhausted. I make my way to Okay. So, we have been going for an hour now. Okay. And also, my voice is giving out from the uh, narration. Do we want to change to a, take a three-minute break and change to a different one again? Yes, we're going to take a ten-minute break. So we'll we'll save... Actually, this auto save. And let us know if you want more of this game specifically. Yes, I'm going to be uploading this on YouTube. So if you, re if you really like this, please say so in the comments, and we will try to make this an actual series. <laughs> or say so in chat, either or. And I'll actually do some research on accents. <laughs> oh, it's it's fine. This is this is let's playing. I know, but I want to take a little bit of look. That's fair. For those on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you soon. For those on Twitch, thank you so much for watching. We are going to go on a ten minute break while okay. we figure ourselves out, and maybe rest our voice a little bit, and then we will come back with a new game. Woo! We will see you in a moment. Hello! Hello. <laughs> are back. Yes, we are. So we are playing another game today. Back with Han here. Hello! Who's on vacation here. And we are going through a games roulette. So this is the third game of the roulette. First being was Overcooked, second being Perfect Date, and the third is Katane. As they could, as the community loves to call it, or keep talking and no one explodes. I have gotten to play this one before, actually. Yeah. It's okay. been a very long, very, very long time. Okay. Unless there, you have a preference. I'm gonna make you the user, not the expert. I would definitely prefer not to be the expert because yeah. I've never been the expert. I am the bomb diffuser. My goal is to help. Wait. Oh. I am. This is to defuse a bomb with the help of your friends. Your friends are the experts who guide by you by using the bomb diffuser manual. Okay. <laughs> My brain just stopped wording. That's fine. The diffuser is not allowed to look at the manual. The experts are not allowed to look at the screen. Hmm. I, I will turn away once we once we like load up a bomb. Yeah, I figured. Try fun ways to keep the diffuser isolated, but within earshot of the experts. Tell them they can't talk to other people. Hmm. How should we try and keep you separate? Should I put a sheet over your head? No. Sounds like sheet. <laughs> that does sound like sheet. I actually I'm gonna need to be like right here so that I. Oh, how am I gonna talk to the mic? Yeah, I was thinking that. I'm, I mean, we can do that. Uh, the problem is that we, the mic is here. Okay, well, oh. I still see us in the... I still see myself in the yellow. I'll, I'll just talk like this. It'll be fine. It'll be a little bit awkward. I mean, 
her in the yellow some of the time. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you are in manual version 1, which is 241. 41. Commit. Before you begin, let's quickly go over the controls. Good, because I need it. Okay. And touch things. Oh, that, that breaks things. Click, left, click, left, hold. I guess we should go straight to bombs? Yep. Oh, you need to go in order. Yeah. First bomb. Yes. Everybody has to start somewhere. Let's just hope it doesn't end here, too. Make sure your experts have the manual and are ready to help. Yes. Yep, I see you're back. March. Screen, it's for my eyes only. You're not allowed to look at it. Okay. That's five minutes on it. All dark. There's an abort button. Uh, there's four symbols. Upside down, question mark. Let, let's, start with, let's start with the button. Okay. Right. So on the subject it's of 452. What, uh... Oh, the time? Okay. Yeah. What color is the button? White. How many batteries are there on the button? Okay. Uh, I see one. Is there a label on it? Serial number N30X1XI9. Others? Um, FRK with a white light on red. Okay. Sorry, how many batteries are on the bomb? One. There's more than one battery on the bomb. Button says this. Bottom button is white. And there's got one, two batteries. No. Button is yellow. It's white. But only one battery. Um, press and hold the button. Okay. What type, what color strip is for? Red. Release when the countdown timer has a one in it. Okay. Done. Uh, wires, four of them. Okay. What are the colors? White, blue, yellow, red. Green. Now we have four symbols. One is an upside down backwards question mark. The next is two K's mirrored or a mirrored K. Uh, there's one that's like an upside down nine, but with a huge circle. And then the last one is like part of an H on a right half circle. It's like three quarters of an H, but the top right is a triangle instead. And then there's a half circle on the bottom of it. Like a little weird cat. With the tail. And four limbs. Okay, go over that one more time. So we have Upside down backwards question mark. Okay. Mirrored K. Okay. Uh, upside down nine. Oh, it's a six, but with a huge circle. Okay. And then something that looks like a cat, or an H with the top right being a triangle and the bottom right being a half circle. Okay. It's a six. Okay. And the triangle one. 
Yeah, the f the last time I played this, I was still uh, living where I was living, so that was at least eight years ago. You're still living where you were living? Trying to be vague. I don't want to tell everyone where I live. Okay, so you, you were living in not your current place? Yeah. Okay. So that was over eight years ago. So when I say, it's been a while. I find out that you're... Okay. Are you ready for the next one? Yes. When did seeing a familiar bomb become comforting? No matter, this bomb will only be half comforting. No. Okay. Uh, everything's dark. Okay, I can see them. So, uh... Wires? Wires. Black, blue, black, red, black, white. Yeah. Done. Okay. Uh, there's a box with four symbols. There's um, the mirrored K, okay. the copyright symbol, or C in an A circle, yep. and then there's one that looks like a sad face titties with a mustache, and the mustache is a comma. Okay, actually, it's not <laughs> and then the other one is, oh, I have no idea what it is. It's like a circle that just goes on too far. It's a, it's a squiggle. Does it look like a pigtail? Mm, a very curly one. Okay. Copyright some? Okay. Must have. A new pigtail thing. Okay. Yep, that was it. Okay. Okay. Now we have uh, a grid with okay. arrows on four sides. Uh, there's a red triangle, two green circles, and a white thingy. <laughs> uh, I know which one. And you don't like it? That's on the subject of it. Yay! So, okay, so where the, uh, you need to navigate the little white light, the red triangle. Okay. So, where are the... Where okay. Are the... Um... Columns and... Column... Five... Row... One on top. Column five from the left to the right. Okay. And... Top row. Is the first one, and then the second one is third column. Uh, fifth row. Okay. Where is the white light? It is uh, first column, fifth row. Okay, and where is the triangle? It is column two, row one. Okay, you want to go right one. Okay. Up one. Left one. Up one. Right one. Up one. Up one. Up one. Left. We did it in three minutes. Nice. I think. That actually wasn't as bad as I thought. Yeah. Having with looking at it now on here, it's really not. Okay. Oh my gosh, the 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 the, the squiggle on like its boobs and 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 a mustache. <laughs> You know what I mean, though, right? No, I it is. It's not how I would have described it, but I mean, I understand. Okay, double your money. The task is clear, but the timer doesn't care about your workload. It's kind of like normal work. 
Is a goo. Still dark. Uh, oh, timer. Oh, it's on the back. Oh, yes. Three. White, blue, white. White. Not the second one. Uh, white press button. Is there a lit indicator on the bomb? This is far. No. Okay. Yes. That's lit. Yes. Um, the battery's more. Yes. Press and release. Okay. Uh, now hold red. Another wires one. Okay. There is six of them. Okay. Yellow wire. Yes. Yes. Uh, apparently not. Okay. Six wires. Yellow, blue, red, black, black. Well, we just cut it. Uh, four, four. Yep, that did it. Okay. okay, now we have two symbols. We have a smiley face sticking its tongue out, the paragraph symbol, the weird cat, and the six. The fat six. It's got an H and then like four legs, one tail, and one triangle head. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, the paragraph symbol. Oh, okay. Okay, hit the six. Six. Hit the paragraph symbol. Yep. Hit the cat. Okay, there's more of that, which is uh, a three that runs off, a mirror K, the mustache boot, and a star. Oh, you mean like it, did, like it didn't finish the three? Yeah, it didn't finish the three. Instead of going left, it went right at the end. Okay, so uh, you said mustache boots, a... Okay. What? Star. Star, okay. It mustache boots, a... <laughs> we had less than a minute left. Okay. Well done. Good. Oh. Doing good. I expected good. this to like... I expected you to, like, struggle with it way more. I... I guess it makes sense, because you are really... I have, like, one of two impulses with, like, high stress. I either get really excited and really focused, or I just kind of, like, what's going on? I don't get it. So thankfully, right now I know what's going on those who have made it this far and want something tougher, but not too tough. One step up. If you get multiple of the same uh, in module, make sure that you do all of them in. Yeah. Uh, five minutes. Do whatever seems the hardest. Serial number is odd. NSA is down. Or battery. 
Okay. Um. Red button that says detonate. Press and release. Okay. Maze. Okay. okay. I'm going to tell you one of the greens first. It is uh in the circles? Yeah. Okay. Uh row three column five. You said a column four. Column five, row three. And then in in uh column four in the, row no, six. in the bottom row. The third one is the white dot, the fourth one is a green circle, and then the fifth one is a red triangle. Oh, and you're just... Or right twice. Okay. That was easy. Symbols. We have a uh, backwards N with an umlau on it. Right. Uh, with a smiley face. Whatever. The six, an A and an E touching each other, and then Epsilon? Backwards Epsilon with two dots over it. Is that the trident one? Uh, if it's sideways, yes. Oh, with two dots over it? Yeah. Okay, six, Epsilon, A, E. And now we have a number pad with four, three, two, one that has one on it. I don't need to help me. This one. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Sorry, you said the display has what? One. Press the button. B. <laughs> One, three, four, two. The display is three. Press the button in the first one. One. Display two. One, four, three. Press the same label as you did. Three. Display two. Four, three, one, two. Press the button in the same position as you pressed in the second. I got it wrong. Okay. Oh, shoot. It resets the whole thing. Okay. Three, three, two, one, four. Okay, I only care about two. Uh, three. Press the button in third position. One in third position. One. Uh, press the button labeled. Four in first. One. Uh, press. Press four. Four and four. One. Press the button and think as in. Wait, what's this play again? One. Press the button in the same position. Three and three. Display two. No. Four. One in four. Uh, we blew up. I don't know if we blew up because of time or if we blew up because we got it wrong. The, the strikes, uh, up. Ah, okay, so the time did run out. The time did run out. Did we want to try it again? No. We're gonna do that one first. But the problem is this, it's on the subject of memory. We specifically have to remember this. And um, I suck at that. Okay.
You have to remember the position and the number of... Okay, wires. Doesn't have memory? Uh, no. Oh. Okay, how many wires? Uh, six. Okay. Are there yellow wires? Yes. One yellow wire only? Yes. More than one white wire? No, there's exactly one. Any red wire? Two. Not the fourth. Okay. Um, symbols. We have a BT stacked on top of each other. We okay. have a candelabra, a filled star, and a smiley face with a tongue. Candelabra. Oh. Star? Okay. A candelabra, smiley face. Okay. Um, maze. In the second column, on the first row, there's a circle. On the okay. third row, there's the white dot. And on the sixth row, there's a circle. Sorry, where's the white dot? Okay, so second column, first row, circle, third, white dot, sixth, circle. So they're in a line? Yes. Okay, on the right. Okay. What? You don't know where the red is yet. Oh. I thought you said... No. The oh. triangle is in, uh... Column 3, row 6. Oh. You say you're in column... Two. Row 2? Row 3. Okay, left one. Okay. Up to. Okay. Right three. Got it. Down one. Done. Right one. Done. Up one. Done. Done. Down two. Done. Left one. Down one. Down one. Right one. Up. Nope. Right. Right one. You can give me number. Okay. Now we have, uh, okay, blank, no, yes, nothing. Uh, three letters, or three H's. Okay, A Y, blank, forward, no, yes, nothing. No. Sorry, what does the, the label say? Because there's, there's six words plus a label the mm, There's no label on top. There's six separate words. Yeah, it's like a punch card looking one. And there's three entries. Three entries. Okay. <laughs> that would do it, yes. Uh, you're thinking too much about the entries. But it has no yes, nothing. Okay, uh... Pop left? There is no first. Uh, okay, blank, 
No, yes, nothing. We're done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I'm worried that because of my memory issues that we are hitting the edge while well, I'm able to... Wanna switch? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you mean you'd be the expert? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. I don't know it's if I this. can pull it off. I don't know if I can pull it off. Okay. We're reorganizing ourselves. And by that, we mean switching. Yes. But it's facing them. And when it's facing correctly, oh, wait for I actually meant to turn off the music before we played. <laughs> Oops. It did make it fun. It... Okay, I will. This. I've never. Decided. Yeah. That is fair. I turn on the sound. Oh, it. Which is. Yeah, that's why I was looking for a label at the top. Because you need to find the label first. Thank you. Oh. Read the display and use step one to determine which button label to read. Yeah, because you have to read the display first. If, if, if yes. But, like, I don't know which one could... Oh, okay. That's, That's not complicated at all. Thing. Yeah, I mean, it's meant to be confusing. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. We're going to go back to something old, something new. I'm just... I used to actually be, like, pretty good at this. Oh. Mm. Nope. <laughs> I mean... Looks like something... That yeah, I had a lot of practice back then, so it was a bit different. Played it like on one. Yeah, that is fair. Section. The needy modules? No, not for a while. That is section four in the. So we need to get through like ten bombs. Okay. You're kidding me. <laughs> okay, I am ready when you are done looking through. Okay. A little I am starting. Okay, we're gonna start with Simon Says. On the on the subject of okay. Simon Says. Uh, blue light is flashing. Because we haven't fucked up yet. Bl yeah, blue red. Oh, are we? Oh yes, the, this is the sequence. Uh, next is blue red. Okay. Yes. Nope. 
We have one strike now. Ow. Okay. It is now... It is blue-red again. I don't know what to do. Although the... have a button. Red button that says detonate with two strikes. Red. Red detonate. That's okay. No, there's two. Red light. Red strip. Or did we get that wrong? We got it wrong. I, I think I did release it when there was a one. Maybe it's because there we already had two strikes. I get it. No, but I, I mean like, uh, maybe the strikes had an effect on what you were supposed to do for the buttons. Okay. Uh, retrying. Okay, so, we have the thing that killed us last time. We have the display with the four numbers, which... I don't even remember what it's called. Oh. Not Simon Says, but the one on the subject of... Yes, on the subject of memory. Okay. The number is two. Put it in the second to... That is a four. second? Yeah. One. Press label. Position two. One. Put in with four. Third position. One. Two. Uh, okay. Next number is four. Oh. Press the button with. Yes, you got it. Okay. Next. Okay, uh, symbols. Uh, we have the upside down question mark. We have the big six. We have the BT. And the triangle alien thing. Oh. Yeah. What was... Uh, backwards six and upside down okay. question mark. Six. Question mark. Done. Blue button that says press. Oh. 
Oh. Press. Blue button says press. There is two batteries. Oh yes, there's more than one. Yes, blue press. Yeah, or no, two batteries. Okay, really? Or, uh, hold? Okay, you have a white strip. A one. Okay. Now, done. Then the bomb. Oh! Yeah. You did it. Now for something harder. Okay. Yeah. After I messed up that first one. Oh. Yeah, I mean... The thing with Simon Says is you actually can... If you understand the manual well enough, you can do it without the manual. Okay. Which is... Weird, but like, like there's like a pattern to it. You can learn, which is kind of... I don't know. If I mean, that's, that's why they make different addictions. Okay. I am starting double your money. No, no, no. Oh. That's that's just the bomb. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Symbols. Got it. Okay, we have an A with a little T in the middle. We have the weird cat. We have a backwards C with a dot in the middle and a y, an upside down Y. A little cool cross out of it. It looks like a little dinosaur creature with the arm. It what? Kinda, yeah, if it's like twisted. Diversity. Um, okay. Cat. Nope. Okay. Uh. A was right. Okay. It looks kind of like a cursive EY. Oh, a cursive EY. Okay. Uh, then A. Cat. Okay. Next, uh, next, uh, symbols. So we're looking for the weird curse of E-H. Okay. We're looking for that same Y. We're looking for an O with a little stick on the bottom of it. And something that is like a squiggly N. We're looking for a curse of E-H. We're looking for the same Y we just had. We're looking for an O with a uh, line on the bottom of it. And we're looking for a squiggle that is like a curve, then a sharp line, then a sharp line, then a curve. It, it, it's an N. Let's call it an N. We have an H, an N, an upside down Y, and an O with a thingy. With a penis. O oh, with the Is that the weird? Yep. Then the Y that we had before. That's separate? Yep. Oh. Okay. Uh. H and then squiggle. Yes. Okay, you're right. Buttons. Red detonate. Batteries. Uh, a lot. Okay. Uh, click it. Okay, red press. A lot of batteries. One strike. Uh, okay. 
Yes. Nope. Okay, the strip is yellow. Wires. Five wires. Red, black, blue, white, blue. Red, black, blue, white, blue. Red, black, blue, white, blue. Good blow up. Okay. Okay. Fine. This is a very hard game. Especially um, okay, if you struggle with memory. Okay, I've hit retry. Sorry, I should have given oh, you like a no, chance to this breathe. Is so exciting. Okay, are you still on wires? Yes. Okay. So we have six wires. Yep. Ask me questions directly. Yellow wires? One. One. Wires? One. At the four. Okay, next one. Four wires. Okay. No yellow. Four. One. Yellow the last one. No yellow. One. Cut the first. Okay, done. Symbols. Okay. Yeah, keypad. Smiley face. Weird cat. What, upside down question mark. Okay. Uh, cat. A. Question. Okay, next symbol, next keypad. We have a trident. We have a railway crossing, like like railway tracks. We have the epsilon symbol, which is the two dots above it, and we have a weird H with like a little smiley face above it and a little dot. It's kind of a uh, N. Yeah. Okay. Trident. Okay, buttons. Red detonate. Batteries. Done. Lit car. What? Lit car indicator. Okay. Color is the button. Red detonate. Is red. Red detonate. But it doesn't. No. Color. Blue. Timer at four. Yellow button. Yellow button that says press. Yellow button that says press. Yellow indicator. Five and eight. That's fine though. This is the last one. Done with two minutes to spare. Oh, I thought you were like, that's the last time we're gonna see a five ever again. No, no. <laughs> I would be a bit more concerned if that was the moment the thing. Yeah, no, you you did that very handily. You'd only took half the time. Yeah. I mean, it helps if I read the things. Because I'm like, want to try saying know. new? Want to try saying new? A new uh -oh. bomb with new things in it? Yep. The one that I failed. Yep. Apparently, you're doing. This has only four modules, unlike the last one, which had six. Yeah. So we're gonna try whatever's hardest first. Because if we fail because of it, we can just restart on that without having to do stuff. Okay, I will start.
Okay. The, uh, the display one that killed us. Uh, the word is first. Oh. It has six words on it. Uh, like, it has display yep. plus six words. The, the word is just first. That is what the display says. Oh, this one actually has a display. Yeah, I have no idea what it was. Okay. Yeah. Uh, bottom right. Hit the bottom right? Nope. The word is L-E-D. L-E-D. Like the light. They're on which side? Uh, okay. There, there's, there's six buttons. First column, second row. Column, second row. What is it? Uh, Exactly as you expect. Bottom left. Nope. The word is there. E H E R E. The word is what with a question mark. As in you are with an apostrophe. Okay. Your, which is you are. The word, the letter U. The next is sure, uh huh, and then what? Question mark. A R. <laughs> nope. Or. Oh. I the, didn't realize those were different words. The contraction. <laughs> yeah, no, they may purpose purposely make it confusing. Okay, let's try this again. Let's play. Oh, it's not the same one. Okay, it's the display with uh, the four numbers, the ones where you check, like, s click the specific position. Oh, failed the one. We did just fail it, but the new bomb has a new thing. Okay. I hit retry because I thought we would have the exact same thing again. Okay, so you said four? Things? One. Yeah, there's four buttons, but the display says one. Three. Okay. The display Number. says one. Uh, four. Label four. Label four. Okay, then third position. Two. Questions. Three. That is the first position. Four. Button leap. Yep. That was a two in the third position. Three. Question. Okay. Simon says. That's the blue, red, yellow, yep. green thing. Here in Lember. I'll learn a No vowel. Okay. There is a... The red is blinking. How many... No strikes. Look. 
Okay, red blue. Yellow. Hello. Red blue red. Yellow blue. Done. Button. A red button that says hold. Battery. Zero. Red button that says hold. That's in a daily room. Okay, wires. Six wires. Ask me questions. Hello? Three yellows. Red? No red. At the last one. Done. I'm done. Yay! Yeah, that, that one that was... Do you want to go for another one, or...? Yes. Okay, I'm Let's glad you can go on this, run. this is the last in section two, called Pick Up the Pace. Oh boy. Okay. Reading this is uses only uses the time you don't have. Three minutes, three modules. Okay, I'm starting it. Maze. Here. Column one, row two, is the first circle. Column six, row three, is the second circle. Got it, where's... White is column three, row one. Red is column two, row four. Column Down. two... Down how many? One. Okay. Left one. Left one. Got it. Simon yeah. says. Okay. Flash is green. Oh. No. It's flashing green. Uh, do you want me to hit green? Hit green. Okay, that was right. Now, green, red. Blue. Green, blue. It is now green, red, red. Okay. It is now green, red, red, yellow. Got it. Six wires. Okay. Hello? No. Even. Wires? No. Done. I'm glad that we didn't get any, like, super hard ones for that. Oh my god. Uh, it's probably by design. Oh. You finished all of section two. We we can call it on that. Or are we do on time? Do 30 minutes of that, approximate? Uh... I wasn't paying enough attention. <laughs> oh shit, we've actually been going for four hours. I've been streaming for four hours. I mean, technically, like, 30 minutes of that was a uh, fucking fuck. <laughs> it was uh, a okay. tactical yeah. shit. Yeah, okay. no, I think my brain can take a break. Yeah, no, it, it's... Oh. It is time. It is time that we all take a break now. Mm, thank you, everyone, for coming. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all very much. We will have... Uh, 
We have a video coming up tomorrow on at Black Cat Studio. Uh, we have a video, yeah. Uh, and we will stream be streaming again on uh, Thursday at uh, 2 30 p.m. PST, 5 30 p.m. EST. We will be doing a watch party with our Dead Rising series where you will be able to see Dead Rising episodes that have not yet aired. Woo woo! You will also be able to get the uh, player commentary because we are going to watch along with you and comment. Or at least that is the plan, unless we have something that's more fun that. Yeah. Oh. Awesome. But it. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you all very much. Like, comment, subscribe, hug your parents. Hydrate. Hydrate. You're very welcome, Pyro. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I hope you have a, a great week, and we will see you again soon. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah. No button. Yeah, there we go.